Hey guys, so today we have another video on the Dodge Charger. Today I'm bringing you a list of 5 of the most recent Dodge Charger concepts. We will be starting out with the original 1999 Charger RT concept, and then moving all the way up to the Supercharger concept from this year's SEMA show. These were all really cool concepts with great features and visuals, so for each one we're going to go in depth at what they have to offer. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my other concept car videos, such as Dodge and Chrysler concepts, as well as concept versus production. Okay, let's get started. So first up is the 1999 Dodge Charger RT concept, which debuted at the 1999 North American International Auto Show. It had been 12 years since there was a Charger on the market, and this one took some parts from the Dodge Viper, Intrepid, and Chrysler Prowler, and shared the LH platform chassis with the Intrepid. The design took some styling cues from past Chargers and the Viper. The car had functional side scoops on either side, taillights that run across the entire back end with Charger written on them, the exhaust was mounted in the center, and there was air extractors in the rear fascia. The front end is low and wide, the new hood has a functional scoop right at the edge of it, and under that is a fairly familiar looking grill. Originally Chrysler wanted to put two doors on the concept like the original Charger, but midway through the process they changed to four doors because they saw that coupe sales were really shrinking at the time, and they didn't want the Charger to be subjected to that. But you can see that they actually tried to blend the last two doors into the body, so it almost looks like they're not there. Moving inside there are bucket seats in the front and back, rotary dials on the center stack, a pistol grip shifter, and a center console that runs through the interior of the car. The steering wheel is a classic three-spoke design, pedals are made of bright machined metal, and the inside of the doors look awesome with copper red sheet metal and aluminum. Mostly everything covered with black leather also has a carbon fiber texture. The seats are black leather with scarlet red inserts, and the carpets are also the same color. The instrument cluster has a main gauge with two overlapping on either side. This Charger concept had some awesome performance, powered by a supercharged compressed natural gas 4.7 liter V8 engine. This V8 was 289 cubic inches with two valves per cylinder and a single overhead cam, and this gave the Charger 325 horsepower, but we still don't know torque figures to this day. This was paired with a 5-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive of course, so 0-60 to 60 happened in 5.3 seconds, quarter mile in 13 seconds, and it could hit 140 miles per hour. And the Charger sounded good too, with a Borla exhaust. The compressed natural gas engine is very interesting, as Chrysler was one of the first companies to offer this. CNG engines reduce emissions by up to 25%, but give the car a lot less range, only around 100 miles. So this was supposed to be the next big thing, and it looked good on paper with power and cleaner fuel emissions, but it never took off at all. Disc brakes were taken from the Viper with 4 piston calipers up front and 2 pistons in the rear. The wheel setup is staggered with 5 spoke cast aluminum rims. Up front the rims are 19 by 9 inches with 245-45-19 tires, and the back rims are 20 by 10 inches with 295-40-20 tires. This car never made it to production, as Daimler Chrysler wanted to go in a different direction at the time, and even though the real 2006 version was quite different, this concept was the foundation for that car, and it helped it come to fruition. You could test drive this car, but it would be virtually in the Midnight Club 3 dub edition on PS2 or Xbox. Next up we have the 2011 Redline Charger. This was revealed at the 2010 SEMA show, roughly around a month before the new generation of the Dodge Charger would be released at the Los Angeles Auto Show for the 2011 model year, which is where we saw some substantial changes from the first 2006 to 2010 generation. The Mopar Underground team was charged with the task of designing this beast, and it ended up being a one-off concept, with Dodge going all out before the real 2011 Charger was released. The CEO of Dodge at the time, Ralph Gillies, said, quote, We let the designers of the production car and their friends at Mopar rip. I wanted them to show us what they would do with this vehicle if it was their own dream car, end quote. So this was definitely one of the first opportunities for Dodge to show off what the new Chargers would look like, and they didn't disappoint. This customized Redline Charger gets its name from the paint job, which is finished in Redline Red. On the exterior, there's an aggressive body kit with lots of carbon fiber found in the front splitter, air dam, rear spoiler, diffuser, roof, hood, side scoops, and mirror caps. The headlights and taillights also get blacked out, and the side scoop is a really nice touch, paying homage to the scoop of the 1970 Dodge Charger RT, and the black and red works beautifully. The inside also follows this theme, with a red and black two-tone interior. There are Mopar catskin performance seats trimmed with radar red Nappa leather and bright red stitching. There was also redline aluminum bezels for additional accents. The steering wheel was a new 3-spoke SRT prototype with paddle shifters, showing car enthusiasts what the real one might look like down the road. 
and there was also the debut of the interior touchscreen. The Redline Charger had some good performance to match its looks. Under the hood was a standard 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, along with a 5 speed automatic. Stock numbers at the time were around 368 horsepower and 395 pound feet of torque, but this car was tuned and had some modifications to raise those numbers. So a cold air intake, headers, and free flowing exhaust system would have added some gains here. And to improve handling, tuned suspension lowered the car by 1 inch, and a Mopar strut tower brace was added in the front for better stability. The wheels were also huge, as is customary for concept cars, with 22-inch super alloy wheels with a red lip around them. Basically, a similar design was later found on the SRT8 models. And the Pirelli tires were wide as well, 265-35-22 in the front, and 295-30-22 in the rear. So this was an awesome concept Dodge brought out. It was a one-off as I've said earlier, but it was a really nice way to introduce the world to the new generation Dodge Chargers back in 2011. The red line eventually became a package in 2014 for Charger SXT and SXT Plus V6 models. The Dodge Charger Juiced is next up, and it was unveiled at the 2012 SEMA show in Las Vegas. This was one hell of a beast, juiced up with a Viper V10 crate engine, more on that in a minute. This is another beautiful creation from Mopar, again based on the 2011 to 2014 gen of the Charger. Mopar added a front chin spoiler, performance SRT hood with functional intake, and some unique Mopar matte black graphics for the hood and deck lid that fit really well with the design. The car is painted in a metallic orange color, officially called Copperhead, and the hood, roof, and deck lid have a matte Copperhead finish instead of gloss. Smoked headlights and a black grille complete the look, and another nice touch are V10 fender decals to show off what's under the hood. Inside there are more Copperhead accents, including patches of Alcantara inserts and stitching on the black catskin leather seats. There's also copperhead stitching on the steering wheel, shifter, and armrest, while the copperhead logo is embroidered in the backs of the seats. There are also copperhead bezels, along with door sills, premium carpet floor mats, and a pistol grip shifter, all from Mopar. Shifting back to performance, this Juice Charger gets an 8.4 liter V10 engine from a Viper, pumping out a whopping 650 horsepower. This beast also gets a Mopar cold air intake and a catback exhaust to add some noise and even more horses. A Mopar lowering kit was added as well to tighten the ride and improve handling around corners. The Charger Juiced also showed off some new 20 inch lightweight wheels with a copperhead stripe and these would be the standard wheels for some models down the road a few years later like Daytonas and Scat Packs. The Charger Juice was a simply awesome concept that was definitely a one-off at the time but was a precursor of what to come as just three years later the Hellcat was released with even more power than this beast. One year later at the 2013 SEMA show, the Dodge Charger Scat package was revived and announced to be coming soon to the Dodge Dart, Challenger, and Charger. As far as I know, it didn't make it to the Dart, but the Challenger and Charger did get this package from 2015 models all the way to today. The Scat Pack was a performance kit offered in the late 1960s on some Dodge vehicles, and Dodge decided to bring it back to their current muscle cars. And on the Charger here, Dodge showed off another RT at SEMA. The concept car they brought had 20 by 9 inch Hyper Black 2 lightweight wheels, and again these were eventually found on the real Scat Pack. There was also a front splitter, rear spoiler, and some black coloring on the hood. Inside were catskin black performance leather seats, some red leather Dodge stripes on the door panels, red accent stitching, red Dodge Charger logo embroidered in the front seat, black chrome door panels and bezels, bright pedal kit, pistol grip shifter, door sills, and a wireless charging pad. There were three stages of the SCAT package, so stage one included a performance cold air intake, cat pack exhaust, SCAT package one badge, and a calibrated engine controller optimized for the 5.7 Hemi. Stage two adds another engine calibration, performance camshift and stage two badging, and finally stage three would have included ported and polished cylinder heads, revised ECU, stage three badging, and high flow performance headers. The SCAT package offerings didn't really materialize, but of course we did see the SCAT pack release as a 2015 model, and it's still living to tell the tale now as a 2019 model for the Charger, sliding right in behind the Hellcat. One year after the SCAT package, Dodge unveiled the Charger RT Mopar concept at the 2014 SEMA show. Of course by now we can see that this design ended up being for the 2015 facelift, with quite a different look to it. Dodge wanted to appeal to young and affluent customers, mainly millennials and generation X's, with this aggressive and youthful design, paying tribute to past muscle cars while still providing a modern exterior and interior. So the exterior is painted in Tor Red, and they gave it a gloss black roof, front splitter, Mopar side sills, 
unique exhaust tips, and a one-piece spoiler for aerodynamic and visual purposes. Under the hood is the same 5.7 liter Hemi with 370 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque, but Mopar did add a cold air intake. And for improved performance, there's a coilover kit, front and rear sway bars, and front and rear tower braces. The wheels are Mopar lightweight 20 inches with a granite crystal low gloss finish. As for this concept, it really wasn't much of a concept as much as it was an early version of the production model, as the real Charger RT and the next generation of the Chargers started to look like this in 2015, but it did give buyers a great first look at the new design through the 2014 SEMA show. I also want to throw in one final concept, a really recent one. When Mopar unveiled the Helifant 426 supercharged Mopar Crate Hemi engine at the 2018 SEMA show, which ran October 30th to November 2nd, they also showed off a one-off 1968 Dodge Supercharger concept, as 2018 was the 50th anniversary of the Dodge Charger. The Mopar team built an awesome fusion of heritage and modern styling with this one. The hood has a scoop that takes inspiration from the Demon, and there's also a chin splitter and rear spoiler. The car is painted into grigio grey metallic, and there's the Helifant logo everywhere from the gas cap to the fenders to the steering wheel. The wheels are taken from current SRT vehicles as they have the same devil's wheel pattern that we've seen. Up front there are 20 by 11 inch wheels, and the back has 21 by 12 inch wheels, both massive, with 6 piston Brembos in all 4 corners. Seats are from the Dodge Viper with a 4 point racing harness and custom roll cage, along with a Viper steering wheel and cool Mopar gauges, some taken from the Challenger Hellcat. And under the hood is the 426 Hemi with an astounding 1000 horsepower and 950 pound feet of torque. This gets paired with a stock 6 speed Tramec manual. While there was just one of these concepts, this was an amazing way to unveil the 426 Hemi and honor the past. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at these 5 Charger concepts. Which was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Mopar and Dodge Charger content, and I'll see you next video.